Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to export code from Webflow. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now for today's video, we will be demonstrating to you how you will be able to export the code of your Webflow design and how you will be able to use it and actually try it out and usually when doing this it's not available in webflow in other platforms like figma yes you can convert your designs to html and css even but with webflow it can be more difficult so in this video we will be demonstrating how to do this now the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download this application visual studio code now if you're looking to export the code out of a website i'm assuming that you already have visual studio code so in this, we will be pasting the different files or the different codes that we will be able to get from our Webflow code over here. And this is our code. Now, what you're going to do is, of course, open your website that you would like to get the CSS, the HTML, and the JS out of. And for example, we have this one. I got this from the marketplace and I think it's free. And what you're going to do first is you're going to have to publish the website. After publishing this, I have published it already. You're going to have to preview it. And after that, as you can see, this is the website. You can see the different things, the different interactions, and you can interact with it normally. And after this, what you're going to do is you're going to click on right click, scroll down a bit, go to the page source. The method might be different for your browser, but for me, that is how you will be able to access the page source. And as you can see, we have the HTML code over here. You're simply going to click on Control A or Command A if you're using a MacBook and copy it. Go back to HTML, make sure that you create an HTML file over here. I have index.html and paste it over here. And there we go. Now after that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on Control L and type in that CSS. And we're going to look for our CSS over here. And there we go. This is our CSS. Now what you can do next is we're going to have to copy this. Uh, going to have to copy the CSS link that is being provided for us. Hold on with this. Let's see if you'll be able to copy it. There you go. It's a bit hard. Let's try and minimize our thing right now. Let's copy our section. This section for now that, so that we can dissect it. There we go, let's copy it and let's open a notepad. Note. Notepad. And let's paste it here for now. And there's a lot of things, so let's simply look for the CSS link, which is this one over here. Or is it this one? Let's control F again, dot CSS. Search it. And let's look for our link. Okay, so our link for our CSS is this one, HTML, CSS. So simply copy this, go back to your browser, open it on another tab, paste it over here, enter. Now this is our CSS for our website. So you're simply going to do the same thing. Control A, copy. If you're using the MacBook, press command and go back to our VS Code over here. I'm going to open another section. Let's go back. Let's create a section for style.css. You're going to paste your CSS over here. Now, over here, back on our code, let's go and see here. What you can do now is we're going to change the reference of the CSS. So let's go here, that there, and we're going to change the code. So we're simply going to delete everything here. And let's fix this. There we go. Now it's going to be calling the specific CSS over here. Now after that, we're going to have to create a new folder again. We're going to create a new file. And for this one, we're going to go and type in script.js. There we go. Now we have a script over here. Now going back to our HTML section over here, we're going to search for that JS next time. There we go. So we have our JS over here. So we're simply going to copy our JS link over here. Similarly with what we did with our CSS. We copy that. Let's go back to our section over here so that we can see it properly. We're simply going to copy this. 
go back to our browser open it again here we go and we're going to copy our code over here it's a lot more confusing and paste it over here let's see we'll be able to copy everything assuming it's all one line let's see what we can do let me show more and i think it works so let's go back to our index over here now let's change our sourcing over here so let's go and go to our js select this great want to delete this section and let's type in this one yeah. there we go now let's do the rest look for this one js is this correct one you're going to have to monitor all of it you're going to have to change this as well so let's change this one our s it's rc so let's change it across to javascript and let's look for the other ones this one as well so let's change this select it all going to be harder once again so let's do it manually go and way over here collect it then repeat this if you're going to have some errors i suggest that when you try doing this uh you use a website that is less complicated than what we are using right now because yes this is more complicated than usual and after this what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our html and let's go ahead click to our extensions over here search for live live preview and let's download this one open this right now it is open so to be able to view our website what we can do is go ahead uh, to press something let's go back to our html over here and let's look i don't here here is the show preview and we click on show preview we will be able to see this right now it's not working properly so there might have been some mistake on our section maybe like the javascript the script right here or maybe the style css over here so what you can do is we're going to have to monitor and like adjust a lot of things to make sure that everything is correct and sometimes not everything will be correct so let's exit our TV right now let's look for rjs if there's a js here maybe we made a mistake in the css css there we go aside from that at css let's see if there's other things that we have made a mistake in and sometimes it's not going to work but a lot of times it's also going to work but as you can see we'll be able to copy a lot of the different features now most likely we made a mistake in the javascript or something's wrong with our javascript will be here but i suggest when you're doing this you use a website that is less complicated than what we are trying to copy because this is very complicated indeed but we were able to copy the different elements the different types of things and you were able to see the different sections but due to its complexity i guess it won't be able to easily export our code but you see the process that is the process you were able to export the code we were able to get the javascript we were able to get the css as well i guess all we need to do is to have a better analysis on how you would copy the different things and that's it for now guys that is how you will be able to export codes from the different web flow websites that you can create or different websites that are available right now and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching